Uh, so we'll get started right away. And the first on the list is Manuel Gomez. Manuel Gomez, City of York. Madam Chair, I would just like to discuss uh, the ongoings of the Mobile Food Vendor Committee. Uh, several meetings ago, I approached the meeting for the first time, the committee sessions for the first time, and I had a camera in tow. I wanted to document the sessions. I was advised I can't have a camera. The meeting continued, but only under threat of suspension, and essentially in some sort of duress, as the committee struggled with the fact of whether or not there should be recording devices. Of course, I challenged, I said it falls under the provisions of the Sunshine Act. I was allowed to remain, but it was then put towards the solicitor to provide an opinion whether or not recording devices should be allowed at the committee sessions. Madam Chair, I would like to submit to you that not only chairpersons of these various advisory committees, but also the, the, the members who hold the seats of these advisory committees, or any committees that are extensions of council's body of work, should be well versed in the laws regarding transparency, citizen input, and the Pennsylvania Sunshine Act at the very least. There have been times where I've taken pictures, something that I do here in council chambers, or the press is readily, readily available to be doing, and people challenge me for doing that. You see, I was even put on the spot, and my presence was even made to be legitimized. I had to say what I was doing there and why. Now, these committee sessions are already heavily controlled. They're very highly obfuscated. I've had discussions with both members of the press and the general public at large, which do not know when these meetings are held, why they're even held, or where they're held. Madam Chair, I submit this is a disservice. I would say that, first of all, personally speaking, I cannot wait till it comes back to council. Here, we have an established protocol or procedure. I may not be the greatest fan at times of how that procedure plays out, but we know what it is and it is generally respected and you welcome input. That's not the case there. I would say that at the very least, I would like for perhaps the city clerk to at least put an, put an advisory of when the date and the time and the location of these committee sessions are to take place. At, the, at this point, there are no press releases. They're not publicized on any of Downtown Inc.'s uh, social media spaces or anywhere else. I've been putting up the videos as best I can and any documentation that I can gather, and that's all on yorklp.org. But I'm just one person, I may miss something, and I want others to be involved, not just libertarians or people tuned, so to speak, to my channel of, of output. So I would like, again, my suggestion is that the city clerk, if this is okay and it's not too much of an encumbrance, to at least just set the date and times of the meetings and the location, at the very least. Thank you. Thank you. 